You know microtransactions are getting bad when even Lego is making a joke at your expense. It's a uh, merchant avatar J three oh five three seven. That green looks really good on that. It shows this cool J though in the picture with like some art and like he's got a video game controller weapon and stuff. The picture on the box or bag. It's a bag. Is fine. It's kind of boring looking. Uh, but we're getting 46 pieces in the minifigures. That's pretty damn good. If you are a three-year-old, you will not be able to participate in RNG-based loot box content. That does suck. Uh, I see Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic. And there's a kids go frail Legoland. Perfect. And avoid danger of suffocation. Keep bag away from babies and children. Yeah, this is an adult bag. So it feels like a very large bag. It's taking up most of the uh, recording pan here. And I think I think it's looks like it should be fine. Honestly, almost a medieval looking build. A little more castle than ninja. Although I think it looks fine for a ninja kind of display or collection. So first off, look at that. Is that that's a medium stone gray? Wow. Nice, nice to get that. Got a couple other gray parts. Um, some dark stone gray. There's that. Oh, you know what? I bet these fluoresce. Uh, those do though. Yeah, those do. These don't. Huh, that stinks. Kind of hoping those weapons would. But uh, we get a cool, cool selection of the ghost virtual digital weapon things, and of course, win. So I'm actually pretty excited for this one. 12 steps, a couple sub-steps. It's a 1-2, that's a 1, that's a 1-2. And no sub-steps on here. Cool. So, yeah, pretty easy build. Let's uh, let's do it up and look and see how we do. Yeah, first step is actually a pretty big one. We got a lot of stuff going on, but uh, nice big chunky part. I always... You know me. I love getting these big parts. You know, that's that's a the base of an entire wagon as one part instead of say you know 30 small plates that have to be intricately woven together in a specific pattern you know what i am going to be wrong this isn't going to be a great medieval build because it's going to be flanked with this you can't quite see it in the picture it's so great but it's going to be flanked with these um neon green fluorescent pieces but uh it should be should be good looking Another concern, which I didn't mention yet, but I was hoping that it would come with an extra one of these game console controller hilts so that I could make two weapons and I could have a player one and a player two, but I did buy a second poly bag for that reason. But looks like it's dual molded. Looks nice. Um, could be wrong, but it doesn't look like you can grab it by the handles. Yeah, you kind of can. Eh. You know what? Let's build Jay. Oh, we got two phases... We got Ninjago movie faces. I got some bad news though, I think. Yeah, you can just see that on the back of his head. Cool dragon pattern swirling around his torso, kind of going from the front around the back and then back to the front. And oh, is that leg printing? Side printing? No, leg and toe printing though. It's kind of like a smock pattern or something i don't know what, what would you guys call that i guess it's like knee pads and like the extension of the upper robe down mm, that's nice second face is kind of weird sticking out but whatever oh the reason we built the figure though was to look and see how well he can hold this without so he can kind of hold it there that doesn't look terrible great for posing and can you hold it this way? This would be really cool if you could just hold it forward backwards. No. It's, so this dimension here looks like it's about the thickness of a plate, so that's about a clip thick. So you can definitely hold it like that, which, eh, just isn't that great of a look. But if you try to spin it at all, it is thicker this way than it is this way, so he doesn't want to hold it in his hands. And there's no, like, connection points anywhere else except for the middle. So, 
I guess you could have it hold like that, and it kind of looks like he's gaming on it. He's got the buttons to himself, at least. Eh, no, not that's not getting good points. That's that's real bad points. Um, Ninjago gamer season. Bad Ninjago gamer season. So this is a pretty um, eventful two steps. We're doing like all of the um, containers in here. Which, you know, this is a good parts pack for these containers, these panel pieces. You're getting a lot of them. You're going to be able to make several different shapes. Um, if I wanted to make a smaller square using these uh, dark gray ones, just do it. We also have medium stone gray with just four corners. So you do have to kind of provide your own side panels if you want to make that longer but that's fine and then we have a third compartment even with um with black panel pieces so the majority of the set is these just these panel pieces which is fine and realistically we didn't need this many because we could have used the sides of the panels um to create boundaries between themselves we didn't need to double up on the walls necessarily quote unquote you understand what i'm saying does that make sense Hmm. It's just kind of fun. It's nice that they did include those pieces because that makes makes it better for mocking later. And definitely um looks nicer when the complete containers like that. That's a that's a good looking look. Honestly, flipping it over this old horse barring piece. Is that what we're calling it? So yeah, that's the right way. This is the way that it goes. Do this piece to give it a little bit of extra clutch on there. And bada boom. I'm flipping it over yet. Yeah, we are. So we let's it's telling me to open this package. So this is the tiny little vented bags. Like the classic bags used to be back in the good old days. And let's look at the pieces. So I got a big scimitar blade. None of these have handles. You could just use a lightsaber handle like this one provided in the set. Uh, it's used for the lantern though, but to make any of these kind of like minifigure compatible weapons. Or you could use the gamer handle, I suppose, to make these. But so we got a big scimitar, a second big scimitar. Um, we got this sickle. We got a second sickle. Yep, two sickles. So those are cool. Those are what are actually going in the gamer bar, the gamer handle. These actually, though, have a little bit of... Can you guys see the texture there along the edge? Yeah, so these are meant to be held in hand, and then they have like kind of a bump, and then like a little bit more so you can mount them. But anyways, this goes on the front here to kind of make horns almost. Make it look big and mean. Cool. Um, and then the rest go just in the thing. So then we have these half moons. They're ninja claws. I don't know what the Lego name for them is. And then we've got katanas uh, blades, but not the handle. So I like the idea of these katanas because you can add the different handles. You can have the ornate handles or a little bit less ornate. It's a nice, nice touch. Um, and getting them in this color is a cool, cool thing. Getting them in the translucent green color. Don't mind that at all. Oh, and wow, I missed, I, I missed these ones. These are just daggers. It's um, a little dagger and it's got, again, whoop, print, uh, not printing, but like molding in the handle so that you know that this is for holding by itself. So a little ghost dagger is cool. Let's build the, we got to build the rest of it still, which is the um, lantern. And we got a paint roller piece. That's nice. It's a nice, good looking piece. The lantern is a little on the under detailed side, but it's a minifigure head and a, a, probol a parabolic disc. I put it the wrong way. It goes this way. Because I was going to say, how can I get the thing to hang? But there, that looks better. And you can actually adjust that forward and back to make it like rocking so if he's like moving fast you would maybe do something like that i don't know just a thought 
I guess I could go like this too, though. I could have it bent over. Oh, I can't get it too far forward, too far bent, but yeah, you can adjust it to the gravity. Eh, nice. I like it. I like it a lot. These wheels that we finally get to use. And uh, give it all to Jay to hold on to. There it is, cool. His hat does want to come off a lot. And he's a lot shorter than the cart, actually. This would go better on a horse, probably. But there you go. Um, that's the build, and then these fish go in the black section. It says to put the daggers in the gray section. And the rest of the pieces just go in here. So, um, yeah, he's selling parts of weapons and some fish. We get some extra parts. This thing, bandana, a stick, and a lightsaber hilt thing. Remember I was saying about the gravity? That is kind of nice to be able to adjust it that way. To be able to, like, you know, make it look realistic. I guess I could fix that up a little bit. Eh, I like it like that. That looks nice. Um, yeah, so that's cool. You can make a weapon, though, with that and one of those weapon pieces, give Jason them to fight with. Yeah, it's nice. It rolls 7 out of 10, I guess. Um, lots of good parts. Definitely a good parts pack. Make your own wagons. Uh, the video game controller is cool. The fish, meh. But the lantern builds neat and reasonable. The weapons. Ghost blades. I got all kinds of weapons for my undead army now, so that's cool. Neat. Um, as an adult collector, um, I would buy it and did buy it. I, I bought it. I bought the set. Um, so, anyways, I'll find a video over here. Somewhere here is a subscribe button. If you're not an ancient fan of LEGO, you could become an ancient fan of LEGO by subscribing. It's not like you're going to see videos you like to see. You're just going to see the videos I like. There's also another video I handpicked for you. Bye.